I'm going to show you how to replace the gauges on a Pro 500 or a Profit Tech. First tool you need is a three millimeter Allen wrench. We're doing the one that's on the right side of the machine, which is the brew pressure, so the pump pressure. Take out the three millimeter Allen screw, pull that out. Next thing you do is you want to grab a 14 millimeter or open end wrench and loosen the lock nut that holds the gauge in place. This holds a bracket there. You notice the bracket is bent. It's supposed to be. It bends when you, uh, sorry, get my hand in the way there. It bends when you uh, tighten it down. So when you loosen that, that allows you to fit a gate, your 14 millimeter wrench on your gauge, then grab a 12 millimeter and hold against yourself and remove this nut here. This is what holds the, uh, the capillary tube to the gauge. Pull that off. Then you can unscrew this lock nut the rest of the way. That allow you to remove this. Then you can pull this, pull the gaze right out. Okay? And to put it back in, basically you just reverse the process. Put your gauge in. Yep, put your gauge in. Put your bracket on. Put your lock nut on. Just far enough that you can put your your capillary tube back on. Make sure your gauge is level. Hold your uh, put your 14 millimeter on your 12 mil millimeter, and we'll snug them down. Hold against yourself again. Don't got a reef on it. And then, again, level your gauge out and use your 14 millimeter to, to tighten down on this lock nut. Now remember, it'll, it'll bend this bracket, that's normal. And that's what tightens up and holds it in place. Okay, so you tighten that to where you think it feels good, where the gauge is it's pretty firm. Doesn't have to be 100% solid, that won't be but just so it's firmly and snug in place. And that's all there is to it. The number one source for everything coffee, wholelattelove.com.